What's going on, you guys? It's Colin Baker, aka Prox Baker, aka Mutt News, bringing us a video on how to prepare for Team Infinity 3. Uh, Team Infinity 3 is coming out Friday, so you can tell from the content schedule. Um, we get new legend, Team Infinity 3, double XP weekend, new ranked in Battle Royale, and then new conquest. So we got a lot of stuff coming out on Friday, so make sure you guys are prepared. I will be showing you guys how to prepare for Team Infinity 3. Uh, similar to Team Infinity 2, um, if you guys didn't know, Team Infinity 3 will be all 99s. So it'll be 30 99 overall um, players for each team. And yeah, basically it's probably similar to Team Infinity or Chapter 2. There'll probably be some choice pack, maybe the, maybe the, um, what's it called? The monthly award pack, uh, choice pack probably there, and then a bunch of other random to show packs. But you can get ahead of chapter three already. Um, and what I would be doing, what I would be, do, what, oh, yeah, what I'll be doing is I'll be buying a bunch of these live series cards or even non-live series cards and just buying them cheap so you can put them in the exchanges when they come out. So for example, most of these guys in this um, spring breakout and soul series, they are very, at least they were, I don't know if they are still, but they are very, very cheap um, beginning of the Team Affinity. So you can buy those guys and do the exchanges that way. Uh, it gives you a lot of um, points for the exchange. So what's it called? Soul Series or Spring Breakout. Yeah, a bunch of these guys are very cheap and they'll give you a bunch of points for exchanges. So like, what are, who's the cheapest ND overall? Um, 4,000 for these guys. You just buy a bunch of these guys and save up for the exchange. So that could be a good option. Jordan Lawler, uh, that's funny. So I have a bunch of Jordan Lawler for first Bowman cards. Hopefully he does good. Uh, but Jordan Lawler, you have him, uh, he's cheap. I mean, 6K is decently cheap, but obviously you wanna find better value. Um, even the A7s are decently cheap, uh, 2,400 stubs, and you'll get a bunch of stubs. Let's look at how much they're worth um, in the exchanges. So if you go here, player exchange, the max you can do is 150,000. I'm sure there'll be another one. Uh, maybe they'll do maybe a 251, 300,000 one for like maybe 50,000 TA, 1550 maybe. Um, but for the 150,000, a 90 overall, uh, 75,000, so just the two 90, 90 overalls. So that's like 8K to get 30,000, um, which isn't bad. Obviously, it's really, really good. So you get two holidays for, well, holidays, no, holiday, holiday expensive. I mean, holiday was like 6K maybe, but it's really worth it, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, 75,000, you've got two of those. You get 30,000. That's all, that's halfway to a boss. I'm sure maybe maybe it will be the same um, as a ch chapter two. Who knows? We don't know the whole logistics with that. But if you if you just do those two, you will get the choice pack here. And I'm sure there'll be a choice pack for Team Infinity Three. If not, that's gonna be a big issue because packs have been really hard to get. But yeah, if you just get the, if you just do buy two of those 90 overalls for like. 8k 12k you'll be able to get halfway through a uh, champion or what do you call it what's it called boss a l e's boss go you know, halfway through that and if you just do all these two it'll be fast too um but 87s 87s are 87s 87s 34 000. so what's that that's about, it's about four-ish, because 34 plus 34 is about 70,000. 70, you will need like about five 87s to do um, one 150,000 one. So that's probably the same value as the 90 overalls. I mean, that's 10, it's about like 10K. No, no. that's about 12,000K or 12,000. 12, um, because each of them were at like 2,500, so you need five of them. Um, but yeah, so obviously the 90 overalls are worth it more. 
think you can get the 4,000 ones, like the AL East one, or sorry, the Central ones. I think there's a Cardinal guy. I think there's a Red guy. And then who's the other cheap one? There's another cheap one. We'll look. But honestly, I would just buy a bunch of these guys. And if not, uh, if they, I don't know what to try to say. If they don't two out good, they're not going to go down a whole lot, I don't think. Uh, yeah, Cardinals, cheap one, Dimebacks, and Reds. So, unfortunately, the Reds and the like, Reds and the Cardinals are the same division. But yeah, and then Dimebacks are in the NL West. So, you'll get a couple if you want to do those two. You know, the Holiday One is worth it too. Um, obviously, that's in the obviously you'd rather buy the uh, Diamondbacks one compared to the. Padres guy because you just need two of the 90 overalls. So that's 80k ish. So, or sorry, that's like yeah, yeah, it's like 9,000k. Oh my god, why do I keep saying that? 9,000 stubs instead of uh, 12,000 stubs. So just buy a bunch of the Jordan Lawlers. Um, Pittsburgh, same thing. You can buy a bunch of the Cardinals guys. Um, there is unfortunately there is no Mariner or uh, AL West guy. Uh, there is no AL Central guy. And there is no NL East guy. So that's kind of unfortunate for the 90 overalls. Uh, I just used to get NL East uh, player for A7s there. Uh, NL, there's a AL, I uh, know we already have AL West, or AL, AL East. Um, do we have uh, AL West? Well, there's AL Central, so there's a AL Central guy. But there is no AL West guy, unfortunately. So that's might be an issue for the AL West for those guys, but um, I'm sure there'll be the I'm sure the choice packs in the program, whatever they do for this pack, if they even do one, hopefully they do one, will be a lot cheaper. So you can buy those guys too. Um, but if you just want to get ahead and buy some these guys, you can too. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, Soul Series guys. Can you, you can also use those guys too. I think those guys are decently cheap too. Um, but again, those will only be for NL West because it's just Padres and um, Dodgers. So, what? Live Mexico? No. Um, so, yeah, these guys are cheap too. Obviously, the uh, Jordan Lawler has more value just because it's cheaper for Jordan Lawler. He's 4,000 stubs. Um, so, you obviously shouldn't be going towards these guys. And I think the. Uh, a7 mints were about a little cheaper. So, Soul Series you shouldn't be looking at. Just looking at the spring breakout guys and making sure you guys get the best bang for your buck for each division. Um, that's what I would do. You can buy the live series if you want to. Um, I don't know if it's more worth it, uh, more efficient, I guess. I probably should do some of these uh, exchanges just to get the get some more uh, things a couple of stubs i got a otani from the vault pack that's pretty good and i just got matt chapman got a 90 garrett cole and a 92 and no cruise sold all of them and then bought a bunch of investments so hopefully that does good well but yeah that's basically what i'm talking about just the exchanges and then obviously you don't do all the exchanges you can just do maybe the top ones top two and then you can just do the moments. You can do the showdown. Showdown will give you a lot. Um, Conquest will give you a lot. Actually, I didn't do the Conquest because I didn't think the Conquest was really worth it because there's only one of them and they just give you vouchers. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't touch this Conquest. Um, I just didn't really think it was worth it. But hopefully they, I mean, in my opinion, I like the Conquest with all three of them. It just makes it more better. And they give they give you a lot of uh, points for it. I think he gave you like thirty thousand. Yeah, I'd rather do that than vouchers. But yeah, make sure you guys get on the uh, spring breakout guys before before Friday because maybe they go up in price. If not, they're not gonna go down a ton. They're already cheap. So not a bad idea just to hold on to some. I'm definitely gonna buy some. Um, and again, there'll be some more, I'm sure there'll be a choice pack here for 30,000. I don't know if there'll be, I don't know if it'll be the awards pack since the, since the award pack's pretty expensive. Um, 
but who knows? Maybe they did a classics one. I, I can't. I, I feel like they have to have some choice pack there, or some valuable pack. Uh, but I'm not sure how much the the Soul Series one was, but maybe yeah, maybe don't buy these guys because they could be dirt cheap when um, Team Infinity Three comes around. Um, yeah, because they already they already did the uh, awards pack for this program. So maybe they'll start dropping these into programs and Team Infinity 3 will be the kind of the first one to do it. Um, again, all these will be 99s. Again, I don't recommend buying anybody uh, too expensive uh, coming, to, coming towards Friday. Just because I feel like a bunch of these cars will dip in price since everybody will have like 99s on their team. So make sure don't be spending your stubs on some stupid player like uh, Nalzi Albies or Dustin May. There'll be a, there'll be 3099s for free uh, to get very obtainable. So that's what I'll be doing for Team Infinity Three. Uh, obviously, not a lot of uh, not a lot of stuff to do before Team Infinity Three to do. But I think what, the, buying the uh, Spring Break of guys is a, a must to do if you have some stubs. I'm sure I'm definitely gonna buy some Jordan Lawlers. I'm gonna buy some who was uh, the Cardinals guy. I keep forgetting his name. Let me check. Um, I might even do some. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'll wait. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do the Team Infinity two ones guys right now. Cause I don't really care about the night threes. Um, spring breakout. Where is it? I skip it. Yeah, spring breakout. Uh. Hence and or who's cheaper? I guess Hens is, but Collier's cheap too, but Lawler's Lawler's cheap too. Um, yeah, A sevens are kind of worth it. I mean, if I were you, I would buy the A sevens if they don't have a ninety overall, like the uh, NL East, like the Mets here. And who was the other one? And I would have to, I would have to check for the the Yankees guy. I would have to do some calculations. On seeing if buying, um, wait, I can just do it now. Five, so it's about the same price if you do, if you buy two 90, two, um, buying two holidays and buying five Spencer Jones is the same price. So either doing that for the, also you want to probably do the uh, Jackson Holiday one just because it's easier, or faster, just buy two cards and then buying five Spencer Jones. But it's basically the same price for the 150,000 one. Uh, but yeah, basically the video, just wanted to show you guys how to prepare for Team Infinity 3. Hope this helped. Um, if it did, like the video, subscribe. Um, comment down below who you guys want to see in Team Infinity 3. Um, I'm hoping for, I don't know, I kind of want some current guys. Um, I also want some 2000s, 2010s guys. I think there is an Edgar Martinez 99. I think there's other guys that are probably revealed, but they'll probably reveal some either later today or definitely tomorrow. Um, hopefully there's a bunch of, hopefully, I mean, I doubt there will be, but hopefully there's some good XP instead of like this 751. Hopefully it gives you like 4,000. It'd be kind of nice, but who knows? It's uh, SDS, but yeah. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, comment down below, and I'm out. Peace.